Hi everyone, welcome back to the Pikmin 2 playthrough. Uh, the votes are in, but they are not done with yet because I'm not actually going to be doing any caves on my first visit to the Wistful Wild. I think I'll be finishing the game on day 14 actually. Assuming uh, it doesn't go too slowly on my first uh, visit to the Wistful Wild. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is just getting all the, the area completely opened up for like exploration. And then the next day will be devoted for me doing only the caves. Anyway, first things first, let's take out all 100 of my purples. Well, 100 of my purples, not all of them because I can't do that. Which is actually kind of strange. Miyamoto apparently said that uh, recently in an interview that he'd be making more Pikmin games because he likes them so much. And I'm wondering if there's ever going to be a Pikmin game where the 100 Pikmin limit it will be like surpassed. Like we'll, we'll be able to have more than 100 out at some point. Because I'm pretty sure the Wii U could handle it. Anyway, we've got a treasure here. Doomsday appara Apparatus, that's what it's called. And you need, that, that, this is exactly what you need 100 purples for. Only 100 purples can carry this thing back. Which is what I was preparing myself for the entire game. Uh, for roughly a quarter of the day though, now I'm actually going to basically just forge the area with only man. Because that's all I can really do with those purples out. I'm going to use... Can I use this rock to my advantage? Can I? No, I cannot. I, it doesn't come up here for some reason. Quite unfortunate. Could have been ultra bitter or spicy spray in there, but apparently not. Anyway, Gatling Grind Kid here. The only one in the overworld in the main game, I believe. Uh, I'm just going to show that you can use this stain's uh, shots to your advantage to damage other creatures. Like these things. Of course, it'd be much easier to defeat them yourself, but you know, just to show that you can use the Gatler Grunk's attacks to actually damage other enemies. But that's not it either. There's actually a much more useful thing you can use this Gatling Grunk for. It involves walking all the way over here and positioning yourself roughly in this area and making sure the Gatling Grunk actually follows you. Come on. Right over here. Yeah, I do think that, uh, yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here, buddy. Come on. I wasn't that far. Well, I guess I can cripple this stand at the very least, but I really want to show something neat about the Gatling Grunk. Uh, but I guess it doesn't care. Uh, well, okay, I guess I'll explain it instead of showing it. Uh, this gate right here, there's poison generators inside of it. However, you can use the Gatling Grunk's own attack to destroy them, if you really want to. But I guess it takes a bit of luck for the Gatling Grunk to be positioned in the area first. So, unfortunately that's not going to happen. Because it, it wants to go towards my... Uh, ship pod for some reason. Except it can't because of those corpses that are in the way. Oh cool, the treasure is already back. And it's worth quite a penny too. Doomsday apparatus? Actually 3,000 Poco is worth. Not that it matters anymore. No, I guess I'll use the president. Go put most of the purples back inside. I think I can only use 10. Uh, yeah, 10. Now I need some whites, actually. A good 30 should be enough, I guess. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the blues behind. Uh, mm. I guess I'll bring out some reds, maybe. No, actually, you know what? This is fine. This is just fine. President's gonna take care of this swooping snitch bug. Except first, I have to take care of the Gatlingroik because it's been annoying. There we go. I think I've got the Gatlingroik done with. But now I also have to get rid of this thing. Yes, it is a thing. That's what it is. And I can also easily call the Pikmin back now, so. Assuming the snitch bug is less annoying due to the virtue of the pluck a phone. But it's still very annoying. I 
Okay. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but uh, consequences of a uh, plain new game. Just gonna leave some Pikmin to carry this thing back. Also leave Olimar behind because I don't want him with me right now. Alright, what I really want to do is bring the white Pikmin to the other side. And I can. I, I barely can. See how easy it was thanks to the purple Pikmin that stunned that thing that I'm still not aware of the name of? <laughs> okay, that's done with. Okay. There's a puffy blowhog on the other side, unfortunately, but I think I'll be fine. As long as I'm looking away when I'm not doing this thing. Left some white Pikmin to start working on this gate, and that'll be it. Yeah, that'll be it for that side. And for some reason, huh, some Pikmin brought a corpse back? Oh yeah, the the, the Gatling prank. I completely forgot about it. And, hmm, it actually did some more blue Pikmin. I guess that's a good thing, because blue suffered quite a loss last video. Uh, I could still use some whites, and I could definitely still use some purples. I'll actually bring out five more whites. But what I need right now is largely blue Pikmin. Just bring out all the blues I can bring out. And mostly flowers, because flowers are good. Yellow nectar? Yes, there is. Alright, for here, we're definitely just going to need some blues, although I got, guess I'll get bring a white if I really want to. Track this thing out of its nest, then attack it aggressively. Get the white out of the way because it is not supposed to be there. Two whites, actually. Then get the rest of the blues to start working on this gate. This gate will actually take a, quite a great deal of time to finish, so... You really want to not spend too much time wasting on not bringing enough blue Pikmin to take care of it. Because you can't really do anything else until that gate is down. Unless you know how to sequence break. Uh, bringing this uh, bridge down is important, by the way. Because even blue Pikmin won't go through the water to bring stuff back for some reason. And bringing the bridge down actually takes a great deal of time, too. Go. Now we just quickly get rid of that rock blocking this hole right here so that the other Pikmin can come through. And that'll be it for the blue Pikmin as well, so that means I'll have to bring them all back. Yep, blue Pikmin are completely useless now. And also, I'm just gonna show the cutscene about this cave right here. This is the Cavern of Chaos, I believe. And for most people's playthroughs, this will be the first cave that they would uh, visit on their first uh, thing for the Wistful Wild. Yeah, their team to the Wistful Wild. It's, um, I'd say that all the caves in this area are roughly the same difficulty, with perhaps the furthest one being the toughest one, but it's really uh, depends. It, it really depends. Depends on how good you are with some bosses, I guess. Anyway, now we need... Did I lose some Pikmin? I think I did. Where did I possibly lose some Pikmin? Uh, I guess I'll see it at the end of the day if I lost anything. I just hate the thought about losing Pikmin. Especially if I don't know about it. Perhaps, perhaps this is why sunset deaths are so tragic. Because you, you didn't even know. You didn't even realize they were missing. And I was trying to throw a purple Pikmin on that thing, but they weren't coming up. Anyway, now that that's done with, get all the yellows into one neat little group. Make sure there are no off colors. And get them all to work on this gate. Uh, after getting rid of these Shearwigs, of course. Mm, 
the Shearwigs are trying to escape, but they cannot. Get them to work on this gate. And... Get the Pikmin here. Defeat this thing. And hopefully not drown your own Pikmin while trying to. And apparently the gate's done now. Good. I mean, not this gate, the other one. Yep! And... I think first things first, I'm gonna get rid of this creature. Which unfortunately did not get stunned. There we go. Okay, now that that's done with... I'm gonna start getting rid of creatures over here. There are quite a few, but you probably... Some of you probably didn't notice them. Now, if some of you have noticed, there's actually a lots of plant creatures just waiting to ambush you right here. They're quite a surprise the first time you're playing in this area. I, I, I myself uh, sometimes forget about them, but I'm quite aware right now. Uh, if you can, though, try to get rid of the puffy blowhogs, quote-unquote, first. Because those are annoying. Oh yeah, it's that one that has the treasure. Fair enough! Also, there's another cave right up there, in case some of you haven't seen it. But that's gonna be for all a man to find out. Anyway, as shown here, this thing had a treasure, a seed specifically. I'm gonna have some Pikmin carry it back. However, there's also another gate here that I can have some of my white Pikmin start working on right away. So they shall. Because it's another way to enter this area, and it's just technically safer, too. However, the day is almost over already. Hmm. And there's another treasure right there. Okay, just quickly bring this thing back, and that'll be it for today, I guess. Maybe. Ah, uh, the day is almost over. Uh, well, I should be fine. I, I should, maybe. I I'm I'm hopeful those Pikmin will make make it back on time. But first, let's look at this cave. That's the Hall of Heroes. That's the other cave you guys can vote for. The reason why I'm not putting the third cave on the map is well, for one, I haven't reached it yet, and for two, hell, where are all the Pikmin? Uh, I guess they're not there. Uh, two, the reason why I'm not putting the other cave on the map is because it's a uh, very... Uh, it's a cave you're really technically supposed to do last. The boss at the end of the... Oh, cool. Neat! Ultra spicy and ultra bitter spray at the same time. The other cave is all right over there. And besides the fact that I can't reach it right now, it's a cave that really is specifically meant for you to play last. Anyway... Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. Come on, Ola Man. Make sure your Pikmin are safe. Where are they? Okay, they're gonna make it in time. Good. There's still... I, I think there's still two tre treasures or one left. I'm making sure all the Pikmin are safe, really. Any leftovers? I don't think so. Curse me if I uh, missed some leftovers. But I think I've saved all the Pikmin. I've done quite a bit. There's still a few things left for me to do exploration-wise, and I guess I'll save it for tomorrow a bit. But it's gonna be like roughly seven videos for tomorrow. Alone. Kinda crazy, I know. So anyway, the poll is still open. You guys can still- you guys can vote a second time, if you want to be technical, for whether I should go to the Cavern of Chaos or the Hole of Heroes first. It's only gonna change, like, the, the pace of two videos, like, if you vote Kevin Chaos, I'll do that first, or Hall of Heroes, I'll do that first. So it's really just a pace thing. Like, how fast you guys want me to do something. Or rather, where, whether I should do something first, before the other. Cool. Lose anything? 
No, I did not lose a single Pikmin. Okay, I was just seeing things when I thought I thought I lost a Pikmin. And that's Olimar's son. His allowance doubled. And why is he sending us mail anyway like that? Shouldn't it take like decades for this mail to get to us anyway? Like, wouldn't that mean that the mail that Olimar is getting is actually from his first adventure, technically? Maybe? Eh, this is a new game. It, I mean, this is like a completely different universe. It probably doesn't respect our laws of physics. Regardless, next time, Wistful Wild again, and either the Cavern of Chaos or the Hole of Heroes. And only two more treasures. Yeah, okay, fair, fair enough. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and hope you all have a very nice day. Bye-bye.